Hi everyone, this is Carissa from the Collingswood Public Library and today I'm going to show you how to view and manage your account uh, through our website. So the first thing you want to do is go to our website www.collingswoodlib.org or you can just google Collingswood Public Library and it'll come up on the front page you're going to click on this first link that says catalog login to my account. Over here on the right, you're going to see login to your account. It's going to say login and password. Your login is your library card number. Your password, if you've never changed it, is your last name in all caps. I'm going to go ahead and put in mine. Okay, uh, so you can change your password if you don't want to use your last name in all caps as your password. That's uh, a change that I myself have made. That is under change your password. Um, you can also change your uh, login, but you have to ask the admins to do that. So you would have to contact the library to change your login. So I don't recommend doing that, but it can be done. Once you get into your account, you can see what you have out currently. So your first tab here is going to show materials, physical materials you have out from the library. So these are some things that I have out currently. Right now, um, we're extending due dates, we're not charging overdues, uh, so you'll see some wacky stuff in here, but normally you would want to pay attention to your items and make sure they're not overdue. If you want to renew, you can renew individual titles or you can renew all. If you had overdues, and I have a number of things right now that I have out for programs, so they are overdue, they would be under the overdue tab. Then you also have your ebook accounts integrated into this system. So you can see what you have out through OverDrive and what you have out through Cloud Library. Now you'll notice Cloud Library, um, the link is better. So you're able to actually see what you currently have out. You can check out from here, you can return from here. With OverDrive, you need to click on the OverDrive link and then put in the same password that you used to get into your account for your library account. Uh, once you've put that in, you'll be able to see what you have in OverDrive. And you can also um, link to OverDrive and check items out through here. Although most people will check out eBooks from either Cloud Library or OverDrive on their phones or a tablet, but you can do it on your computer as well. Um, other information for your account. So we're gonna go back to where we started with your main checkouts. If you had fines, they would be under the fines tab. Personal details is where you can change information about your account. Tags, no one really uses. Change your password. This is where you would go to change your password. Search history. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So these are things I've looked for before. You can choose to clear these out, delete them, or you can hold on to them if you might need them for later. For instance, I have uh, been doing research on certain topics sometimes, so it's nice to save your search history for that reason, but you're also able to clear it out if you wish to do so. Reading history is another one. It will save what you have read. Oops, I clicked on the wrong thing here. So these are items that I have checked out. Again, you can clear these out. We'll go into that more under the Your Privacy tab. So you can choose to keep reading history forever without limit, which is how I am set up, because I like to have a record of what I've read. You can go with default, which is keeping reading history according to local laws, 
or never, which means you delete reading history immediately if you don't want there to be any record on the system of what you've checked out. Do know that if you delete something, you can't get it back. Um, also, at the end, we have this immediate deletion button, and this just clears out your history uh, from this point moving further back. And then moving forward, you would want to select never if you don't want to hold on to your history. If you've made purchase suggestions, there's an area for that. Um, messaging is where you indicate how often you would like to hear from us. If you don't touch anything, it will just go to the standard defaults, which work for most people. And finally, your lists. You can create lists if you were doing a research project or collecting things that you would like to read someday. Um, you can create your own list. We also have public lists that we make available to everyone. So you might want to check those out the next time you're online. So that is a quick overview of your account. When you're done in your account, you always want to log out. And again, you can get there very easily if you go to the Collingswood Public Library page. And it's the first link on the upper left catalog slash log into my account. Thanks for checking this out.